Hey Thinksters, what's up? Today I want to show you how to build an API with Flask, Dockerize it and run it in a container on your local machine. So first of all, you have to install Flask, obviously. Do that with pip install Flask. And then I'm using Visual Studio Code. I think it's really great for developing Flask apps and it's free of charge. So you can download it, Visual Studio Code. Now let's dive right into it. First, of course, we have to import some stuff that we will use. Then we instantiate our app with Flask. And here we define a template folder. This is a folder here, which contains um, HTML files. So that Jinja, which is a template engine from Flask, it comes with Flask, you don't have to install it. It's in the package and it fills in data. So you can have this value here updated dynamically in the HTML file. So here you see the endpoints of our API are defined with a decorator. It's at app.route and then you set the endpoint. Here we have slash, slash sum and slash mult. And here I define that we call it with a get HTTP verb. In these two cases, that's how you can do it. Yeah. And uh, the base URL will just return an index HTML, which contains some um, documentation, nothing special actually. And our two methods here, they compute the sum or the multiplication. We expect two parameters A and B, which we retrieve from the request. That's how you do it. And then we convert it to a float value. If that doesn't work, we throw an error and we show the invalid input HTML. If it works, we compute the sum and we re render the result HTML with the value in it so that you can see it better. In an API, you would normally return it in JSON format and you can just use JSONify for that. But for the purpose of demonstration, I will use an HTML file so that you can see it better. That's pretty much the Python code. We just have to start the app and run it on localhost. Then we need our Docker file. And first of all, in the Docker file, we define an image on which we want to base our new image. That's just this layer philo philosophy behind Docker images. So we use an image which has Python 3 installed. We copy our requirements.txt, this one, onto the image. And we define we need Flask 1.1.2. That's all our requirements. We copy that file into the container, into on the image yeah so after first it's an image and then you can run the image and it's a container so from one image you can have several containers it's like a class and instances of the class and we also copy the my app folder which contains for example the html files on the image we set the work directory we install the requirements on the image so that it has everything we need. And then we start the app.py um, file, which will run this code. So it will start the app. So before we go on, let's see localhost 5000. Here, nothing is running there. Just to prove that it really works. And now we have to create our image. To do so, I already typed the command. We use docker build and we want to call our image flask API. I execute it 
and it doesn't take long here because I already downloaded the image once. If you run it for the first time, it will take a bit longer. So don't be surprised. So now we have the image. You can see it, the Docker images. Here we have our Flask API image. And if we run Docker and see all the containers, we don't have any until now. So what we need to do now is start our container from the image. So here's it's docker run. In detached mode, we map the port from the container to the port on the laptop here on the local machine. So it will be port 5000. We call this container API1 and we build it or we instantiate it from image flask API. So let's execute that and it works. Now if I run docker ps, you see there is a container. Container ID, it's, it was created from the image flask API and it's listening to port 5000 on my machine. So now I go back to my browser and you see here is this little documentation already. Yeah. And now we can call our other endpoint, for example, sum. And I already tried it out before. Five and seven. And you see, I get back the result is 12. Or let's use the mult endpoint, run it and five times seven, it's 35, correct. So this is how you build an API with Flask, dockerize it and run it as a container. I hope you liked it. If you have questions, leave me a comment below the video and see you next time. Bye bye.